Good evening, folks. How you doing out there in YouTube land? Well, I want to make a little video. And uh, this is something I uh, read one of the posts there uh, about a month or so ago on the Antique Radio Forum. Um, and um, it was pertaining to, uh, I guess, somebody had their tablet damaged by charging it, burned it out. And um, it was due to uh, a high voltage. Uh, most of these uh, little charges that come with your cell phones and your um, digital cameras and so forth are these little plug-in things that takes the USB uh, plug and puts out 5 volts. Well, how do you know that they are really putting out 5 volts? So, um, by reading the uh, posting that this fellow made on the forum, I found out that um, somebody had answered the uh, question and found a device on eBay that you can check the voltage of the USB adapter. So that's a good tip, a good idea. So I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to order one. It took about two weeks at least to come in because it comes from China. I ordered it on uh, Amazon and it's only like about six bucks which uh, I guess, uh, I'm not sure about the shipping and um, they're available on eBay and uh, Amazon or whatever and they're only a little device that you plug in to your power pack that you you know your unit you're charging and um, it tells you the voltage and if you plug in your device into this unit it'll also tell you the current that the unit is drawing when it's being charged so I'll show you this now on the computer screen and you just do a Google search and uh, they're not hard to find. Well this is the uh, device here. It has an input here. Actually an output. An output. Here and an output here. And you plug this into the um, your wall, wall wart. In other words, these things that you're, you know, quite common. Got the USB in the back. Well, you plug this in and it measures the voltage that comes out of them. And here it is here on Amazon. And this is the one I ordered. It was um, <clears throat> $5.29 and free shipping. But I had to wait like two weeks. It comes right from China. There's a lot of different ones that they have out there. So it gives you the voltage reading output here and the current your charging rate here when you plug your device in here or here. Now how accurate these things are I don't know. I'm getting readings usually under 5 volts on almost everything. So in order to compare the actual voltage I would need to put my digital meter cut up a USB cord and get the uh, plus and minus 5 volts out and put a meter on it to compare it with this meter. But the main reason I got this is so you're not putting out more than 5.1 or 5.2 volts. Um, you start putting out 8 or 9 volts from one of these things and you could be in trouble. So let me just show you how this works. Here is one of these battery bank things that I got from Walmart. I think it's about $7. I got it about a month and a half ago. And these are one of these things you plug in your device and you can charge your cell phone or whatever. If it has a USB plug on, it has a mini plug over here. So I'm going to plug this in here. Now I, I charged this about a month ago. So I assume that it still is holding a charge. So let me put the camera down. I'll stop the camera so you won't get seasick, motion sickness. And I'll plug this in. 
and we'll come right back and I'll show you what the voltage is on this. Like I say, uh, this probably will need to be charged. Well, we'll find out. For some reason, it don't stay on. It's five volts, but now it goes out. I unplug it, plug it back in, it works. Let's see what she's got for charge. Yeah, all four lights are lit, so it's got a charge. But for some reason, it's not loose. I can take it out and put it back in, which I'm going to have to stop the camera to do. It's on again. But it goes out. Don't I don't know why, but because she's full charged. See? I'm tricky to turn off. Keeps going back on again. These are complicated to use. They don't seem to want to stay off. The damn lights keep coming back on again. I haven't figured out how this thing, why these lights don't stay off and they keep coming on. But that's supposed to be a test light. And they they blink until they're all lit. All four of them are lit. There's four of them in there. Well, anyways, this is putting out about five volts right on the money. And um, your cord plugs in here. You got small cord here on this end and your USB on this end. And to charge it, you plug this into one of these jobs here. You charge this, and then you can plug your device into here. But by the same token, I guess you could use this end too. Anyways, so I just wanted to give you a little show and tell on these things here, and most of you probably know about these things. I didn't, and I was going to make something up with a meter. But in order for me to do that, I'd have to take a USB cord, cut it off and find in positive and negatives, and stick it onto one of them little harbor freight meters that I can sacrifice and test the voltage output of these uh, things here. But I don't need to do that for the cost of six bucks. It was well worth it, and it measures current too. There are different ones. Some people swear by the Brock. That was ten bucks. Uh, 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 yeah, Drock, D R O K. Uh, that's basically the same thing, a different manufacturer. And they have them. Uh, is another one here. And um, another one here. I'd be kind of leery about two dollars and seventy-five seventy cents, but anyways, these things are um, are a good thing to have. So I just thought I'd show this to you, so that if anybody's interested, I got this one from this seller here, uh, Amazon. And you can see that you can plug in uh, two devices. You can charge from a battery bank, let's say, check the voltage of the battery bank, and then come out and go into your device. Now, why it kept shutting off on that, on that thing I had, I don't know. All right, let's plug it into the computer here. I've done this before. 4.9. All right, let's see the other port. 4.96, okay. All right, you have to excuse uh, the noise in the background, the furnace is on. I'm in the uh, area where the furnace and the washer and the dryer are. Anyways, um, this is a, um, a phone charger. You know, uh, one of those typical phone chargers that you get with the USB. So I plug that into this, and we're going to go over here and plug it into the wall here. And it's 4.86 volts. So it's reading under 5, but we don't know how accurate these things are. And she's holding the charge a little bit, which means the capacitor is good in there. Um, because I'd have to put a meter on here too. In other words, it's got the 
to two outputs here to plug in your device so you can measure your current. So I could probably take a USB cord and sacrifice it, get the red and black wire and hook it to a, a digital meter and compare the voltage readings and see how accurate this thing is. But my main concern is overcharging or severely undercharging or not charging at all due to the voltage maybe too low and certainly don't want to damage the device because these things, there's no guarantee that these things put out 5 volts. I mean, they put this puts out under 5 volts according to this, but I have heard of these things going as high as 9 volts, even though they're marked 5 volts, because after all, they're made in China and we don't know how accurate they are. This one here, I marked 5 volts, 500 milliampers, in other words, a half amp, only because that's what it said on a tiny, tiny writing underneath the label, and I will, I just copied it onto here, and that was before I bought this here. So let's test another one of these jobs out. Okay, this one is a Samsung. This came off of my uh, Samsung SL600, which is a 12 megapixel digital camera. Um, fairly old. I used to use it for my videos years ago. And we got that plugged in. So let's try it out. Now I have two of these Samsung chargers. One goes to my SL600. The other one goes to the Samsung SL105. The SL105 is a camera I used to do all my earlier videos on before I used the Kodak. And one of them, I'm not sure which one, is loose. Let's plug it in. Okay, this is the one that's loose. As you can see, no, it isn't either. Okay, this is working all right. No, it isn't. There it goes. This one's got a bad connection in the, in here. It's not this unit, but this is reading 4.55 volts. And the red zeros up there, that's if you had something plugged into the side over here or on this side, and you had like a phone hooked to it and you wanted to measure the charging, it would give you the uh, milliamps or amps, charging amps in on the red scale. But because I got nothing plugged in here, it's only giving me the readings of the voltage only. In this case, it's 4.55, so this is putting out low, if I can believe this meter. Okay, here's the other one that doesn't cut out. We'll unplug this, and we'll put that in here, but I doubt I'll be able to do it. Oh, I got it in, okay. All right, now this one doesn't cut out. This reads... 5.11 volts. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if we're in focus. 5.11 volts. And I'm moving it, and you don't see it cutting out. So this particular one has a problem in here. If it was a problem with the tester, it would be doing it on all of them. So this one's fine. But you can see there is a big difference between these wall warts, five volt wall warts. Just because they say five volts doesn't mean that it's exactly five volts. Even if this meat is off, there is a difference in voltage. So the main concern is not to overcharge because some of these things have been known to put out, I haven't had them to put out nine volts, but some of them can put as much out as, as high as nine volts, and I've heard even more than that. Thanks for watching, everybody.